Today's destination isn't exactly a budget-friendly destination. However, if you are a fan of the space program or astronomy or anything related to exploration of the final frontier, this is definitely a must-do pilgrimage. Okay, so changing plans. No GoPros or action cams are allowed in Space Center Houston. So I'm going to go put the vlogging setup up and cross my fingers hope I can convince Dean to do some video with the camera that he brought because DSLRs are okay. Space Center Houston puts the visitor in a quantum state, figuratively. Here you can simultaneously tour manned spaceflight history and take a peek at the future of space exploration. If you want to do anything with limited seating, take our advice. Get your tickets for that first. We didn't and lost out on the chance to visit the neutral buoyancy training facility. We visited Space Center Houston several years ago after they built the shelter around the Saturn V rocket, which, by the way, belongs to the National Air and Space Museum, not NASA. The tour at that time was a bit rushed. Visitors had to stay together as a group and someone, Dean, made a tour guide mad because he dawdled too long in the rocket park. That was then though. Today's visitors can hop on and hop off trams and choose their own tour schedule. vlogging on Dean's camera. Um, older Houstonians may remember when this was outside. Some time back they noticed just how badly it had deteriorated, deteriorated and it was so heavy that they couldn't move it so they just kind of built this building around it to do the, the maintenance and repair work on the Saturn V rocket. But this is it was never used but it was designed for the Apollo program. Most tours and activities are friendly to folks with mobility issues and, in my case, paralyzing acrophobia. We got to explore manned spaceflight from Goddard and Von Braun through Mercury, Gemini, Apollo, the shuttle, and into the Orion program.
$30 a person plus $5 parking, that kind of pushes it out of the budget-friendly category for us and into splurge territory. We got access to three tours, the Rocket Park, dozens of demonstrations and exhibits, and I really think we got our money's worth. Thank you all very much for watching. If you like what you saw in this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like to know more about the locations in this video, be sure and check out the link in the description box below. Mm -hmm.